it was it was kind of experimental, but at the same time, it is based on uh, ancient Ayurvedic medicine. And and the way that it works is just like when you soak the oil in your mouth for five minutes is when you drink a lot of oil, that oil automatically goes into the liver and oil pulls chemicals and toxins. It soaks them up. It pulls them into the oil structure. So you might have, you know, when you go to the bathroom and you filter and you rinse your fecal matter, if you're doing a liver cleanse and you want to see what comes out of you, you might have a bunch of green stones, black stones, yellow stones. You know, we've had, you know, all different kinds of things that have come out. After evaluating, and we've done more research on liver cleansing, by the way, than any other company in the world, evaluate over 300,000 people that have done liver cleanses with olive oil. First of all, results speak for themselves. Every single person has reported positive results. So even if that was a placebo effect, you're still getting, and, and people have gone back to their doctors, by the way, and their liver enzymes are back to normal. Their gallbladder uh, doesn't have any stones in it anymore. Uh, they're not having the, the pain associated with it. They're having uh, increased energy levels. Uh, you know, there's thousands of reviews, actually. You can go online and, and type liver cleanse uh, programs in and look at all the positive reviews all over the internet. You know, when when you're using natural medicine, uh, it's a lot harder. Interject, by the way, we're sold out of the liver cleanse product. <laughs> so yes. we're not even promoting it right yeah, now. We're, not. we're just telling you the facts are in about liver cleanse. And, and the reason why you're sold out is is because it's so effective. Yeah, it actually and, works. I mean, and, I've done six of them myself. Yeah, and I try to do at least three or four of them every single year. To get back to the original question, are they stones? Well, if you do a proper liver cleanse and, and using the liver shield, for example, there's herbs in there that are designed to soften anything that's hard and turn it into a spongy-like matter so it passes really easily or to break it into little pieces. Uh, there are... Uh, I would definitely say that some of those globules are, you know, a, an oil, hardened oil. But at the same time, I would say that those hardened oil globulates do contain a, a plethora of chemicals and toxins that you do not want in your liver to begin with. Absolutely. And you can also look online for the studies and stuff like that on what's actually in there. Thank you for your call. And let's go to JT. He wants to talk about blood thinners and natural alternatives. JT, what's on your mind? Yeah, guys, uh, you're doing a great job, both of you. Thank you. Um, I, um, I I take uh, warfarin for, uh, well, I have an anti-thrombin-3 deficiency, uh, which means that my blood clots easily. Uh, uh, I, I have taken care of it in vitamin E and other natural methods up until I was about 55. And then uh, an episode took place, and I have to take warfarin. Do you have any insights on how uh, to uh, affect something like this? Uh, you know, I do the liver cleanse. I've been, you know, taking the, uh, your products for, oh, two years now. Oh, thank you. And, uh, you know, it's, oh, every, every the uh, uh, brain force, holy Moses, I'm, I'm 70 years old. And I'll tell you what, after about the fourth uh, two uh, capsule dose, I was like, my God, I haven't felt like, like uh, I, I, I can actually actually speak in longer than one word sentences. No, well, you I know, the secret was, is right. Uh, so I, I can't actually do radio until I take Brain Force. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I am on it actually right now, and it does feel great. Brain Force, I think, just it just hits you so fast. It's so much better than an energy drink and everything like that. I'm gonna toss that question to Dr. Group, and of course, we're not saying any substitutes for pharmaceutical medication. Always contact your health care provider. But Dr. Group, for blood issues, blood pressure heart issues in general, what is your regimen that you recommend? I mean, so many, it's millions. I've it's like always, for any type of heart issue, first of all, I don't know what age uh, he was diagnosed with that condition, but there's one thing that I do. The heart pumps blood through the liver. I've, I've associated pretty much every single heart and venous insufficiency, even varicose veins, cellulite. I mean, any type of condition that has to do with the blood to a congested liver including high blood pressure. I mean, if you if you look at how the body works and you have you start developing high blood pressure, well, 
when the liver becomes congested and the blood has to pump through the liver, when it's when the liver, it's like an oil filter that just becomes so congested that the oil cannot pump through the filter anymore. So what we do is we take the filter out at the, you know, take it to the mechanic. He takes the filter out and puts a new filter back in and then your oil pressure gauge goes back down. It's the same thing with the liver and the heart condition. When the heart is overworked or you start having heart conditions, it usually means your liver is congested. Now, I know you said you did a liver cleanse. Liver, what I've found is it takes a minimum of three liver cleanses before uh, the liver is clean enough to where the heart can beat and pump the blood through effectively again. I mean, we've I've seen individual cases of high blood pressure with one liver cleanse and the blood pressure goes back to normal. It's all about addressing the root cause of the problem. Another uh, another condition or a root cause for heart problems, believe it or not, is an imbalance of gut bacteria in a in a toxic gut. Because what happens is when you have when you eat GMO foods, you burn little tiny holes through the gut. You get leaky gut syndrome, and then you have chemicals, toxins that are leaking directly into the bloodstream, and those start accumulating and damaging the vascular system. So cleaning the gut, repairing the gut with a good probiotic, drinking a lot of excess water, avoiding white, you know, the things that can uh, cause damage to the venous supp supply in the heart to begin with, with are going to be any of your GMO foods, your microwave foods, your aspartame, artificial sweeteners, you know, the list goes on and so on. You don't think it's a good idea to just uh, chug Coca-Cola, Pepsi and eat hot dogs. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Hey, you know, you think about it, though, for real. And I actually feel sad for everyone that is unhealthy, right? I feel sad when I see people that just are just so heavy and they just look so upset and depressed and, you know, in terrible condition. If you really think about it, if you really, really think about it, though, and I mean, you drive throughout Texas, you drive throughout Pennsylvania, where I'm from, the large percentage of people, and it's really sad, the large percentage of people, they do eat just complete junk. And I know that sounds obvious to people, but I don't think they understand. I mean, the listeners of this program are often, you know, extremely intelligent and extremely informed. They're saying, yeah, we know that, guys. Come on, give us some more information. Give us some key information. We want some news. I understand that. We're going to get to the news, too. But if you really think about it, if you just put about one-tenth of a percent of effort into your health, you're, you're pretty much getting better off than about 99% of the public. I mean, if you go into an average Walmart and see what people buy, it's upsetting. It is de- Depressing. And that's why a lot of callers are depressed. They just, they can't understand it. They can't fathom it. But at the same time, it's not because they're stupid. It's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're evil. It's not because they're part of the elite or whatever. It's because they have been misinformed and they don't know. They don't have that awakening aha moment from listening to programs like this because they don't have exposure to it. Right? And I'm not even trying to put myself into promoting the money bomb, but I just did in my head because I realized that you can help people like that by supporting things like the InfoWars money bomb. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. Com. Not only do you get products that help you, but you're also helping the organization and helping us grow right. and, and get the word out to more people. And at the same time, though, it really is just about the spread of information. Yeah. And as I've always said, there's a 30-second cure for all depression and there's a 30-second cure for any form of lethargy, you know, just feeling bad, feeling down, feeling passionless, there's a 30 second cure. All you have to do is share the news to somebody, share, share inspirational information, share information to wake someone up 30 seconds of your time, go on Facebook and share this broadcast, go on Facebook and share some news with somebody, pick up your telephone, text someone, do something, talk to someone on the street. 30 seconds. It only takes 30 seconds to decide what you're going to do. 30 seconds to start your own website. 30 seconds to do anything. That decision takes 30 seconds to do what you're actually going to do. 30 seconds to go into your closet, take the old clothes you don't want and give it to Goodwill or Salvation Army rather. You know, whatever it is you're going to do, it takes 30 seconds and that will get rid of a lot of those problems. Yeah. And like you said earlier, you know, part of the depression that we're dealing with today is people don't like their jobs. I mean, they people, hate they hate their jobs and it, it would be a perfect world if every single job you actually helped the environment or you helped somebody in the world, that means you go to work. Like we go to work every single day and there's so many people that call in and say, you changed, you helped change my life. Say, no, you did. You know, you really took it upon yourself to order the products or, or 
take the supplements and address the situation and to realize the root cause the next day you went out you don't have to do it fast either it's it's baby steps next time you need lights for your house don't buy the mercury lights buy the led lights next time you need shampoo and conditioner for your family buy natural or organic shampoo yeah. and conditioner it's not like you have to completely change everything but just these tiny little things that you do on a daily basis and you're right about one of the fastest ways to feel satisfied inside and to, to feel other. happy is to help other people. People have a muscular imbalance that I believe is due to their mental imbalance. I'm going to explain that. So, so many people are hunched over when they sit down. I'm going to show it on air, but basically it's like it's hunching over like this and they're sitting at their computer like this and they're pushing out, you know, they're just, they're just sitting like this. And a lot of the times there's a muscle called the psoas in the body. And what happens is, if you think about a dog, if you go up to a dog and you freak it out and you go, hey, get out of here, it starts, it goes, right? It pushes its neck down. It tenses all its muscles. It's in a defensive position. It's constantly in a state of anxiety and anger and being freaked out and ready to attack like a dog, right? But think about a dog that you're petting on the ground. It opens up its, its legs, it spreads, it puts its belly in the air and you pet it. And you're like, oh, yeah, 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 right? And it loves it and it's all happy. People are in a constant state sitting at their cubicle being in a state of fear and anxiety and depression in that pit bull, angry dog state, sitting there typing and, uh, and they're so stricken with the stress and anxiety and cortisol pumping through their veins like a manufacturing processing facility, right? And they're just freaking Pounding out. Pounding Diet Coke. Pounding Coke. Diet Coke, doing nothing to help it instead of opening up their body. And this muscle called the psoas is called the anxiety muscle. Most people have never heard of it. P-S-O-A. It's uh, P-S. I can't even spell it for some reason. Anyway, so as P-S and then O-S-A-O-S. -O -S. And what that means is it determines how you actually feel. Because if you open up on a daily basis, and open your body up physically, and really it's a mental component as well, the so as will not be tight. But people have tight so as because they sit in a constant state of fear and anxiety and the core is all pumping through their veins and their muscles are tight. And that is because people are locked down. They're in a state of fear from the media. The media propaganda is putting them into this horrible state, this cancer-causing, disease-breeding state. They're not giving anything out, which is the number one to cure all of this. They're not actually helping people, unfortunately. They're not giving anything. They're all about what they can take that they forget how to even give things. They take so much from everybody. That's all they want. They just want to take and they want to consume media, consume everything, consume, consume, consume. But what are they producing, right? What are they actually producing? They're not producing, unfortunately, anything, a lot of people, right? And I know most people listening are good people and they want to produce and they want to share and they want to help people. But the average, unfortunately, American, a lot of the times is not producing anything. They're taking it and they're in a state of anxiety. And I think it has to do with media propaganda. And up in here in a second, I want to play this video by Darren McBreen about U.S. media propaganda. So I think it's really telling. And it's really informative. Um, so we're going to cue that up right now. And it, it ties into this article, World's First 8K TV sells for $133,000. So, you know, 4K resolution is like crystal clear. If it's like an ocean or something, it looks beautiful. It looks almost picture perfect. It looks almost like real life. Is that it's, with the 1080? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like beyond all of that. So this 4K is, is, a, is a form of just like basically pixels and stuff like that. HTTV, this is from, um, this is an article from CBS. Your, your nice flat screen is already old news. Even state-of-the-art 4K Ultra HD televisions could soon be topped by new technology coming from Sharp. The company reportedly plans to start selling the world's first super high-vision 8K monitors on October 30th, only for $133,000 each. As we get more and more attached to this Borg system, as we have things like virtual reality coming out, as we have every single media consumption outlet growing faster than any other industry out there, Right. If you think about video games are growing faster than anything, um, all forms of electronic stuff. And this isn't inherently bad, by the way. I enjoy some of this myself. But all of it's growing industry wide rapidly to the point where we're just going to attach like the Matrix and Borg into these systems. This 8K television is not inherently bad, but it shows the progress towards just complete consumption, how we continue to consume without giving and without producing. And I want to go ahead and play this video by Darren McBreen. It's, an, it's appropriately called Mind F. USA propaganda. So let's go ahead and play this video. Aldous Huxley, the author of A Brave New World, he said in an interview back in 1958 that the social engineers of the future, they will figure out a way to enslave us 
by tricking us and conditioning all of us into thinking that we are actually free. This was also well thought out and researched